Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Sky Factory 2.5. Um, trying to get at least a few episodes up today to make up for the few that I missed out on recording due to power outages because of weather. So, um, what do I want to do for this episode? I know what I need to do. Well, here's what I've been doing, or about to do. Um, the sorting system from the mob farm keeps getting backed up. Part of it is the bows here. The filing cabinet full of bows actually was full. There was like 1,600 and some odd bows in here. So I set up that advanced filter. That's just a regular filter with lapis on it. And uh, you can hold that and right click on it. Uh, you right click with it and it scrolls through a couple of different options. One of them says enchantable. It starts off on default and it goes through a whole bunch of different ones. But enchantable means not enchanted, but uh, like a tool or a weapon or something like that that can be enchanted. So that's the filter. And so this transfer node here pulls any of the not enchanted bows from the filing cabinet and throws them into the loot recycler. Each one gives you four points. So it takes a lot of bows to get a loot bag. Anyway, so the rest of the bows in here are enchanted. Uh, I'll decide what to do with those later, but that at least keeps it semi not cluttered. Let's see, did any of them get put down here? No, okay. This filing cabinet here always gets random stuff in it. Usually have to clear it out a little bit. Uh, I made a cache for sticks and chests here because I was getting a lot of those and they were overflowing the uh, wooden stuff chest here. Uh, I also moved the sound muffler from here to over there. Uh, I just turned down the friendly mob sounds for this area. So don't really need the sound muffler there. Uh, let's check on our cows. Let's see, chocolate milk, molten mana steel. That could be useful. Fish room soup, liquid blue slime, pyrothium. Yes! Must have. Uh, do I have any empty golden lassos? No, I don't. Dang it. <clears throat> Do I have any gas tears? No. Man, I want that pyrothium cow. Alright, let's see. I guess I can make a lasso real quick. Um, yeah, those already have stuff in them. Recipe. Alright, so, four string, four gold nuggets, I have ender. Those I think I made extras of. Somewhere right there. And I need... Four gold nuggets. I'll go ahead and make two. And four string each. Okay, two there. Two there. Throw these on. Get those. Put that back. Don't need the dolly at the moment. Got him. Now my chest of useful cows is full. I'm going to just put him over here for safekeeping. Some of those are useful also. And I want to grab the mana steel cow also. Pretty sure I can make ingots out of that. Okay, now back to what I was doing. 
Uh, we're going to sort this drop system here. Most of it's going to be brought over here first and sorted through these chests or these uh, filing cabinets to pull these armor types out and then whatever's left over is going to go in that box right there. All right. So uh, to do that, it's kind of a cool effect in the sky. Uh, to do that, we're going to use an ender chest over there connected to right about here and then run item ducts with filters all the way through these and end up down here. Uh, I'm going to set up another four uh, filing cabinets for the iron armor set. That way those will get sorted. I don't get a whole lot of them. Like That's the entire collection. And then I've gotten one diamond helmet out of the whole system. And then I'll probably make a uh, cabinet for stone swords and iron swords and gold swords. The rest of this stuff uh, I don't really get that much of. Maybe iron axes. But anyway. Uh, let's get started first. Let's make um, an ender chest. Well, I need to make two, don't I? So four... I know I need blaze rods, ender pearls, and wool. Like that. Uh, ender pearls. I'll just grab a stack. I only need two, but whatever. Uh, and these also use cauldrons? No. The chests just use chests, right? Yeah, they just use chests. Uh, where am I going to get two chests? 370 right there. Alright, so... Like that. And then we put our wool. Um, I've got two wool left. Let's go with... Yellow. I need a second one. And we'll just say that's gold instead of yellow. Oh, and I need a. Let me go ahead and make the white ones. No, wait. If I do yellow in the middle, it should make all three yellow. Is that the way that works? Yeah, and that's fine. I was thinking of doing like uh, white, yellow, white for the code, but it doesn't matter. It works out. So one's going to go down here somewhere, maybe not there. Uh, I'll probably take. Let's see, I'll probably take this cabinet off, and these chests are coming off, and that'll be right there, or down here on the end. All right, now the other one is going to go right here. And this is where we're going to start needing more pipes and filters. And go ahead and knock these out. Hope oh, nothing spawns back there. Uh, it shouldn't. I've got the lighting thing turned on, right? Yeah, so if there was a dark spot there, I'd be able to see it. Okay, so we're going to make just the regular regular item ducts. They don't have to be anything fancy. And then we need to make uh, filters. It's class, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, this is where I ran into uh, a lack of materials. I'm out of glass again. 
So let's go over here to our nice, fancy, awesome furnace and give it a stack of sand to make into glass. There, I just need three to start with. There we go. 16 filters for 16 filing cabinets. And this thing's already half done. Okay. All right, before I build the other four filing cabinets, since they're not really a pressing issue, let me go ahead and put these pipes in. And I'm going to do these four at a time. Oh, wait a minute. I forgot. I'm going to have to upgrade these. Do I have... Okay, let me do this. I was going to go and upgrade these... Like so there. Uh, I need more hardened glass. Grab some more obsidian here. Go down to the pulverizer. Alright, um, last episode I mentioned that I went and cleared the rest of that uh, castle thing out in the deep dark. Here's the loot from it, along with everything that I got while killing mobs down there. Nothing too spectacular. I did get a skeleton trophy, and I got two more division sigils, not that I needed them, from those loot boxes. Uh, thomium hoe, thomium pickaxe, and that's about the best of it. None of the rest of it really stands out at all couple of rare loot bags, which I think I probably crafted myself. Like, I put together loot bags to save inventory space. But, um, yeah, there wasn't really a whole lot of awesome stuff in there. I think I've got that backwards, but it doesn't matter. Okay, that's enough to do what I need to do. And there we go. The rest of that I'll come back for later. Alright, now I wanted to use the resin filters because, well, A, they look fancy, and B, I can modify all of these different uh, filter options. So I can say whitelist, let's go ahead and pull one out here. Let's say one of these that I have a bunch of. So we're going to whitelist the chain boots. We're going to ignore the metadata because I don't care about the durability on them. And we're also going to, I think, ignore NBT. That should work. Let me pull one out and test it. Oh, I need a servo, don't I? Do I have one servo? I guess I don't. Nope. Well, in my Revenge of the Sea Team, playthrough I ended up making like a stack of the wrong ones and in this one I'm always running out so I guess I'll have to craft another one or three um okay they're just the same as the filters but with redstone instead of paper down here so let me grab a couple of pieces of paper. I mean redstone. No, I guess I don't have any. Okay. 
always almost all the way prepared to record an episode. All right, let me just make one and one piece of glass. Oh yeah, can we go get the glass? That's all done. And I get experience out of that furnace. Cool. Redstone furnace does not give you experience. Okay, so uh, that servo probably doesn't have to be amazing. At least not yet. Oh, actually, you know what? I can trade. I can trade these over here out because they don't really have to be that fast. All right, this one and that one. So you are whitelisting sand on. You are whitelisting gravel and on. There, they don't really have to be that fast to keep up with everything here. If they lag behind a little bit, it's no big deal. And this other stuff can go out. I'm in the poison range. The rest of it can go down there. Okay. Fancy servo. This is going to take everything in that chest, which is from that chest. It is currently empty. So let's put in these two pairs of boots and turn it on. They both should have found a home in here. Let's take out a few more. Yeah, looks like they're going back in perfectly fine. Just to be sure, they're not there. They're not mixed in with any of that. And they're not mixed in with any of those. Okay, so they're working. That's the only one that should accept the boots, and it got the enchanted and unenchanted. So you want to flip it to whitelist, ignore metadata, and ignore NBT. The rest of it you can forget about. So you really don't need a resonant filter. You can go with, like... Maybe just a hardened or a reinforced probably be all right. So let's uh, grab the next thing on the list. Chain pants. Next thing on the list is chain chest plates. Next one, chain helmets. There we go. I kind of want to use the uh, warp item ducts here so that uh, I can see the items going where they're supposed to. And I might swap them out at some point. Okay, that all went to the right spots. And they all got taken, yep. Alright. So now we just do that for the rest of these. Two, three... Oh, wait a minute. Hang on. I need covers. I was going to separate these. Forgot about this. I was going to separate them so that they, uh, the items go in a linear fashion. Um, I have to take this one off, don't I? Put the cover and then put the pipe back. Then it doesn't want to put the pipe there. Hmm...
why does it not want to put the pipe on this side of the block? I thought these don't take up a full space. Yeah, that wants to go on the left block. I want it on the right. Nope. They don't want to go in the right spots here. Well, am I going to have to use a different pipe? Hmm. Maybe not. Now, how do I get it to separate these pipes out? I know I've done this before. I've done this before with uh, item ducts coming out of a smeltery to separate two different pipes. So this should work, but it doesn't want to let me put a pipe there. No. And when the pipe's already there, it doesn't let me put it down. Hmm. Well, I guess for now... I will just set up the filters and hope for the best. All right, let me pull one of each item here. Uh, if you know how to sneak the covers in between those, let me know. I might have to, like... No, when I have the cover down, the pipe doesn't want to go. And whenever I put the pipe down, the cover doesn't want to go. So... But I know it's possible. I don't know, maybe this will work. Oh, phone's going off. Uh, maybe this will work and the items will just know where they have to go. But maybe I'm expecting too much out of these uh, pipes. Let's put away those. They should go where they're supposed to. I will check in a minute. I'm getting a ton of golden gear. That's most of what comes out of the system is gold. And then leather a close second. Alright. Let's go boots right there. Leggings, chest plate, and helmet. Okay. Toss those in. They should know exactly where to go. Let's check these other boxes for oddities. This is all chain helmets. That's all chain chest plates. That's all chain pants. That's all chain boots. All right. So the leather and gold didn't end up in weird places. Those are all correct. Looks like everything went to the appropriate spots. There'd be almost no way to tell in this one. Yeah, those all the ones I can tell what they are are correct. Oh, what's that? Nope, that's gold. Yeah, it looks like they all did right. Cool. All right. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I guess call this an episode. It's a few minutes short. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make the other four filing cabinets real quick. Stick them down here, get the item frames. I'm going to frame up probably 
these armor right here, these pieces. These will go in the frames, the rest of this is going to go in the chests, or in the chest to be sorted, so I can make sure it works. And then run the pipes, keep an eye on it for a few minutes, make sure it all sorts correctly, uh, take these boxes down, and uh, until next episode, I guess I'll see you guys later. Come see me in the live stream tomorrow. Uh, that'll be 6-3. It's on a Thursday. Right? Is that Thursday? No, Friday. Friday, June 3rd. At about noonish central time. Uh, I'll be live streaming on Twitch. The link is in the description. And uh, if you want updates and stuff, follow me on Twitter. But yeah, so until next time, I'll see you guys later. Have a good day.